Perot caught up with some of the crews cleaning up this big mess. This is what's been floating in Jackson's Grand River since Sunday. They came out and put some sorbent booms around the uh, outfall pipe here and it it seemed to contain the oil. Which DEQ samples would show as hydraulic fluid and use motor oil. Wastewater Superintendent Donald Tucker thought most had collected here near Lyons Park and through this stormwater drain. There are there are industries around here and our industrial pretreatment uh, program is investigating. But where exactly is still unknown and rains Wednesday would show some 800 gallons had spilled into the Grand River. Boom, boats, containment boom, sorbents, things to collect the oil. So now on day four, the city, DEQ, and EPA are still working to make sure it's only 800 gallons. Why wait to release hay, avoid the park, avoid a, a big section along the Grand River because of the spill? Well, we, we, it was unknown until really the rain event how, how big this was. You know, we thought we had it contained. For now, the city's failure to contain it doesn't look like it will cost them. Now, both the city of Jackson as well as the Environmental Protection Agency say they will review how this process was handled from start to finish, but say right now the talk of fines and investigation would be premature. We're going to evaluate this. We've already discussed everything, how maybe we can set up plans to um, be better prepared in the future. For now, it's tackling the task at hand and cleaning up the mess. In Jackson, Nick Perot, 6 News.